Okay, everybody, I'm back. It's like uh, two days later. <laughs> um, I worked, the last video I made was Saturday night. We had a, just a family day on Sunday and then yesterday and today I haven't been feeling so hot. So um, I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, um, what you see before you is some product that I was waiting for <laughs> because um, I got the score of the century. What you see before you is 80, well, there's, um, 84, and then one, two, three, four, and then five doubles. So these are Twinkling H2Os. I scored these on eBay, you guys. Um, it's the whole kit and caboodle. It's the whole thing. These are from Angel Wings. These are not, um, I don't know if they're the same as the other ones. These are the smaller ones. Um, and I've been waiting for these because I was wanting to do my um, my mermaid. Oh my gosh, she just grabs them. Okay, so I was wanting to do my mermaid. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gesso her. And I'm going to put a good um, coat of gesso on now that her little neck is not broken anymore and her little tail's put back on <laughs> it must have happened it got loose in transport when I brought it home but anyway I don't think you've really even seen a close-up of her so I'm gonna give you a little close-up of my mermaid with her little starfish bra <laughs> and her little belly button <laughs> anyway I didn't know fish had belly buttons but that's kind of a joke between me and my cousin I guess so um, anyway the one the one that she got inspiration from was Gabrielle um, Gabrielle Polacco uh, did a mermaid like this and so my cousin watched her video she's like she's really great with clay and she goes I can do that <laughs> So she made me um, a lovely mermaid because I wanted a face and a, and a head on my mermaid um, and she put arms because she has all these little doll forms you know the little um, clay molds and so she put arms on my little gal but um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and and maybe have her holding a shell or two or something. So anyway, but anyway, so what I'm going to do is I went back and I watched Gabrielle Polacco's video because hers was just absolutely gorgeous and it's the color that I wanted. She uses shimmers and I don't have any of the inklings. Um, my cousin has the whole set of inklings, but I couldn't get over there to do this. So when I saw this on eBay, I jumped on this you guys I'm not even kidding um, I got these for a super good price they have been used once twice at the at the most she said she used them to do this color chart they are absolutely perfect they, you can't even tell they've been used they still look exactly the way that they came and so anyway I am just thrilled to have these because um, I'm I am actually a watercolor painter my mom is an actual my mother is an artist my mother's a painter she does um, acrylics and oils and um, I do watercolor I'm a watercolor painter and I haven't painted for years but um, my mom's got a bunch of my paintings in her house but um, and I had never believe it or not I've ne I'd never heard of pan watercolors other than the little you know ones you get in the thing I always use the koi in the tube so that's that's what I use so when I found these the whole set because you know gosh you get one little set of six and you're like oh but I want all the other colors I got these I think they equaled out for around a buck a buck a piece so maybe a little more buck something a piece which I don't think you can buy these for a buck something a piece anywhere even I mean plus shipping and everything um, so I was really thrilled to get these and I'm going to and this is what I was waiting for uh, because I'm going to use them to color my mermaid and every other thing I can find <laughs> now that I have them because I'm absolutely like over the moon thrilled. Um, I was a little bit saddened to find out why she was selling them. Um, she ha she's been a crafter for a while and, and a card maker and a stamper and, um, you know, had hopes of having a fun retirement where she could you know create and do fun things and her husband apparently passed away two years ago and she just 
completely lost her mojo to do any crafting and so she's selling everything off so um, that made me a little sad and so uh, but I told her basically no fear your stuff's going to a good home and I will use it for the purpose that it was intended for so um, anyway I hate hearing about when people give up on crafting because I get such joy and this is the only time when I come into my little studio and shut the door this is the only time I can completely turn my left brain off which as you well know I have a hard time doing because of my long-winded videos but um, being a nurse you know and having a stressful job I'm an ICU nurse so it's kind of stressful um, you know you just want to shut that left brain off and not be analytical and and you know ABC one two three and you know I come in here and I turn my right brain on and I just let it go so I can't ever imagine giving it up so anyway that being said I wanted to show you what I was waiting for and show you my little my cool little haul so here's where we are I haven't done anything since my last video except oh yes I did I lie oh I lie so here's my won't you see that see that shimmer isn't that gorgeous okay so here's what I did for my box I went ahead and you can see it's kind of curled because you know, I am not patient. I'm not a patient person by any stretch of the imagination. So, of course, I got the heat gun out. And after hitting it with so much spray and everything. So, basically what I did was I got, I had my modeling, my molding paste. And I went ahead and I used, did I use this one? Oopsie. Yes, I did. I didn't use the dark one. I used the light one. I went ahead and used the Folk Art... Jamaican Sea. And what I did was I mixed it with my molding paste on my mat here. And then I got my mica powders out and I put some mica powders in it and I mixed it up. Well, the mica powders didn't really come out that well. So what I did is I went ahead and put it on with my stencil, just randomly. And then I took my mica powder and I just lightly dusted over the top of it while it was wet and hit it with some shimmer spray after I hit that with a heat gun so you can see this beautiful see that beautiful shimmer on there it's even all over the paper now but um, there it is look at that so gorgeous anyway I hit it with um pearl I think I used pearl and let it dry, hit it with a heat gun, let it dry a little bit, and then I hit it with scintillating silver and whale, well I used Whale Watch Blue from Lindy's, and this is a Starburst spray, because I wanted a little bit more blue in there. So I hit it with that, and I hit it with a little seagrass green, which is also Lindy's um, Starburst, so that's where you're getting that beautiful shimmer. And it looks like water right here. I mean, it seriously looks like water. So that's what I did and then I kind of stopped for a couple days because I have basically had a migraine for two days and I don't really get migraines so I don't know what's going on maybe the weather I guess I don't know but I have got a screaming headache um so anyway these came in the mail yesterday and I just wanted to show you my little score love it um it's not going to stop me though I will tell you this it's not going to stop me from buying some inklings <laughs> because there's some really cool colors in there that they don't have in here. I could probably mix them, but the one that Gabrielle Polacco uses um, was just gorgeous. Gorgeous. It was like a two-tone shimmer. And these have a shimmer, but the only one I can see on here that has an actual two-tone, like two separate colors, other than, you know, the, you know, the, um, what am I trying to say? Like a color with a silver tone, but the scarab beetle is the one that, um, which is this one right here. This is the only one I can see that has two distinct colors and it is just gorgeous. And I think I might use this one for her because it's kind of a coppery brown with a, an iridescent green overtone and it's gorgeous. So I think I might use, we'll see about that one. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to show you that 
and that that's as far as I got the other day. Um, but I like the way it turned out, and I think by tweaking it some more and putting some cool things on it with a little bit, I've kind of changed my mind about how much of this net I'm going to use. Um, that's an awful lot of net, but we'll see. Um, I hadn't seen the video that my cousin um, saw, which was Gabrielle Polacco's mermaid one. And so I went and actually watched it today, and I was like, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Kind of the same thing. She uses the glass, but I think hers is clear. I just, I never had seen that. I had the green, so. Um, but she used the net in a corner, and I kind of liked the way that looked. It wasn't too busy, but we'll see. It, you know, it's just a, a matter of doing it as I go. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you my little haul, and, um... I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and gesso her up and I'll bring you back when I'm getting ready to paint her. All right. Stay tuned. <laughs> 